everyone so today we are doing a very exciting video in this video we are doing something that i've seriously been so excited and curious about like me and my mom have been like peeking in these packages how good is this stuff like is this worth the hype i saw this tiktok basically and it's like amazon dupes for lululemon now we all know lululemon athletic wear is pretty pricey but it's very nice also i think anyways and that's kind of like the consensus that i've heard is people like lulu clothing but it's also very pricey so if amazon has a good dupe I'm interested to review it. And that is what we're doing today. Now, if I seem a little bit off, it's because I got some news today. <laughs> Basically, the dentist called and told me if I was interested in getting my grafting appointment moved from July 28th to tomorrow, there was an opening <laughs> and I took it. <laughs> so my surgery just moved from July 20, whatever, to tomorrow morning. So I have like literally a second to prep for it. And if you've never heard me talk about my grafting before, I've been needing some grafting for a while. When I got braces, they moved my teeth so aggressively that it really made my gums thin in the front. So they've had like lots of recession happening, especially in one tooth, which I will show you. <laughs> If you don't want to see it just skip forward a little bit but basically the procedure they just remove some skin from the top of your mouth and then they sew it where you need more gums i will show you guys the tooth really quick this one you can probably tell we got some recession in the front and i have been told there's nothing i could have done like i don't brush my teeth super hard it was all just from having really big teeth if you guys saw when i got my 12 year molars removed i put on my instagram story how big my teeth were they're just too big for my little mouth so this is just another thing I have to get done. So I'm kind of a little bit off because of it because I'm like, what? I have surgery tomorrow morning, what? <laughs> but I mean, it's something that I do have to get done if I would like to keep my front tooth. So I will be doing it, but the show must go on. We must film. But anyways, okay. So today we are going to be comparing Amazon athletic wear with Lululemon athletic wear. Amazon apparently has some really good dupes. And when I say dupes, I mean like, clearly some of these Amazon pieces were made to look the exact same as some of the Lulu favorites. Because seriously, they look so, so similar. I'm so interested to see if they feel similar or how the quality compares. We're going to be testing these pieces side by side, the real and the dupe. So I'm very excited. So I'm gonna stop talking. Otherwise I might get talking about my teeth again and I might scare you away. So let's get in to this video right now. Okay, so we have the Lulu box and also the Amazon box. Let's dive in. I honestly wouldn't have known this was a thing if I wouldn't have seen that TikTok. And I think it had like 2 million views. So clearly a lot of other people saw it. So hopefully you guys are curious about it never have i ever bought this many lululemon pieces at one time like usually it's like a splurge if i buy like a pair of leggings so this video definitely gave me an excuse to like purchase too many workout clothes so i might have to like get into working out to like justify this but yeah. Okay, the first Lululemon piece that we are going to compare is this Align tank. Now this is the real Lululemon piece. This retails for $58. So qu quite like a pricey little cropped tank here. The material feels very, very thick and comfortable and well-made. And it also has a built-in bra on the inside with, I think, yeah, with removable packaging. <laughs> padding. This is just the beginning. I am so off today. Oh my gosh. Removable padding. Yeah, I've heard people talk about Align tanks a lot. I think they're really, really good for working out and quite comfortable apparently. And it does feel like because this material is so thick, it would probably hold you in place. Because one thing I feel like is when I'm like running, I don't have anything up top and it still is a problem. So I can just imagine like you want some support. So I think that this would be decent support, not like ultra supporting but better than just like a regular tank top if that makes sense so this is the lulu one let's see amazon's dupe now none of these dupes are going to be a hundred percent perfect they're just like when i looked at it i was like wait is that a dupe? Because same energy on both of these. Now they aren't the same color. Some of the stuff I got was like the exact same color, but these ones I couldn't find. But here is the Amazon one. Now, let me get my judging cap on. 
Let's see. First things first, I think the material is a little bit thinner. The Lulu one is quite thick. So that's kind of like personal preference because some people don't like thick materials because they get too hot. So in that case, the Lulu one could be better for you or worse for you. So let's throw these on. Oh my goodness, no. Okay, sorry. I was just like ripping through all of the stuff that I got and I realized this isn't the Align Tank dupe. This is the Align Tank dupe, which makes way more sense because it's the same color and the materials are so much more similar. Oh my goodness. Like, should I be filming right now, honestly? <laughs> okay, sorry about that. This is the real Align Tank dupe, which makes way more sense because the style is super, super similar. And actually they're both in like a shade of blue, so it makes sense. So this was actually $26, so like a third of price of this one. And it feels very nice and thick and it has the built-in bra. This actually is serious, like this is a serious dupe because honestly, if the tags weren't on, I would probably think that this was a Lulu Align tank. For sure. I think the only difference is, weirdly enough, the Lululemon one feels almost soft matte, and this one feels more like your classic athletic feel. But let's actually put the correct tops on. Let's do that. Okay, here is the Lululemon Align tank. Wow. I Do I look like a ballerina all of a sudden? Why do I feel like... Okay, what was the movie I watched recently? Oh yes. Okay, I watched Game Plan recently. Sorry, I'm just ripping off a tag. I love how easily those come off. Anyways, where was I? I was I was watching Game Plan and the ballerina, like the coach, she wears, I swear to you, this exact outfit. It probably is an aligned tank. These feel great. It almost feels similar to like a compression piece of clothes. Like it's just so tight and thick. It really holds you in. It feels really, really nice. I don't normally wear tank tops working out, but I think that this is like something I'll definitely wear. I like it. So let's see the comparison. Okay, here is the dupe align top. Oh my goodness, you guys. Like, why do I feel like I might like this one more? It's just a little bit comfier because it's not as thick a fabric, which I sort of like. And I don't know, am I just not seeing straight or does this one look better on me? They probably look like the exact the same, but I don't know. I just kind of like this one more. It's a little bit more comfortable. It's not as tight at the bottom too, but it fits good up here. The sports bra is not nearly as tight as well. And I don't know, I just like it. I like that color a little bit more, like the cloud blue. But this one is so soft and so nice. And for the price, I probably prefer this one. Whoa. Whoa, Amazon, settle down. For real though, I don't really think you could go wrong. These two are almost the exact same. Like they're like copies of each other almost. Okay, next we have a pair of shorts. These are the Speed Up MR short four inches lined. These were $58. I got them in this really pretty mauve color. Now I actually have these in black back before COVID. I used to play volleyball once a week. So these would be the shorts I would wear. They're super comfortable. They don't like ride up or anything. And they're a little bit different than spandex shorts in the sense of I feel like these are more comfortable. So I'm definitely a fan of them. And also they have a little pocket in the back, which, you know, I don't really use, but it's nice to have it there. Very soft, super comfortable, nice and lightweight. They're almost like that like sweat wicking fabric. But Amazon did have a dupe for these and I'm looking at them for the first time. First of all, the color is a little bit different again, but as you can see, same idea here. Like the backs of them are actually so similar. And this one, like the fabric feels almost identical. Seriously, I'm scared. Yeah, these feel really, really good. Oh, and these, okay, wait, what? Oh, they both have this. They have like the underwear lined bit inside. Both of them have that. I guess that's what they meant by lined, duh. Honestly, like I'm looking at these, they are so similar. Honestly, I think the only difference that I can see is the Lululemon fabric is a little bit more opaque, whereas the Amazon, I can see through it just a tad. I don't think it would be a problem, especially not in this color, but that's really the only difference I'm seeing. And the uh, 
zippers are a little different. So let's throw these on and see if we can tell any difference in the fit. I got them in the same size comparison, so we'll see. Okay, so here are these Lululemon shorts on. Normally, I probably wouldn't pair these with a slightly off purple t-shirt crop top, but just ignore the top half of my body, pretend it doesn't exist, just look at the shorts. So this is the fit I was telling you guys about where it's not your classic spandex tight short, it's definitely flared at the bottom. And then on the back, here is how it looks. It also has the liner, I'm wearing underwear too, but here is the liner. They're loose, they're comfortable, they're like a really, really nice light fabric. They have two pockets in here, lots of detail. They're so comfortable, honestly, and I think my mom has a pair of these and she actually wears them in the water and they dry super quick that's kind of unrelated let's see how the Amazon one compares to these wow okay here are these now try to ignore the color difference they didn't have exact matches so I just tried to get as close as I could it doesn't flare out as much but it's also not tight though they are also a little less high-waisted which isn't always a pro and then on the back Pretty similar. I would say that these Amazon ones are a teeny bit shorter than the Lululemon ones, even though they both were, I believe, the four inch. Okay, wait, what? Hold on a second. Am I just like, oh no, okay. No, they're the same length. I, for some reason, was looking at the back and I was like, are they like the different lengths on either side? But no, they're good. I was just looking. Oh my goodness, and it even has one pocket in the front. Lulu had two, but like, that's pretty good. So the fit is slightly different, but when it comes to the fabric, you guys, these are almost the exact same. I swear to you, they feel the same. So that's pretty good. I like these. I don't know which one I like more. I don't know, you be the judge. Okay, let's dive into some leggings because I know a lot of people are really loyal to Lulu's leggings. These are the Align joggers. Now, when I'm wearing, I guess these are joggers, not leggings. Are they the same thing? I feel like they kind of are. They're just a little bit looser, like same fabric. I actually do have a pair of these and I really like them because they're sort of comfortable. And I was always sort of the type that was like a little bit in secure to wear leggings that were like skin tight. Whereas these have a little bit of looseness to them, which makes it more comfortable. And I just feel, I feel better in them. And when I feel better, I'm nicer. And when I'm nicer, I do, no, I'm just kidding. You may not be able to tell, but these actually have a camo print in them. And I wanted to do that because Amazon had the dupe in a camo print. So I was interested to see how they would look. Initial thought on the two, like here they are side by side. It's kind of interesting because I feel like on face value, you wouldn't be able to tell a difference between them, but the feeling is very different. This is more of like an athletic water wicking feel to it. Whereas these almost feel like a very, very, very thin fleece in a strange way. Let me check, do they have the fabrics in here? 84% polyester, 16% spandex on the Amazon ones, 80% nylon and 20% lycra elastane on the Lulu ones. So different fabrics and you can actually tell. I feel like they are going to look the same but feel different. So let's throw these on and see how they look on. Also just so you can see the style too because they're joggers. We'll see. Okay here are these Lululemon joggers on. First of all check out the fit of these if you've never seen these before. They're like leggings but they almost look if uh leggings were loose, which I personally love. I actually really, really like this camo print too, but these are just super soft. They fit really, really well. They're like tight in this area and then they just get loose and then cinch up again. Your classic jogger, but these feel like kind of the best legging jogger that I've personally tried. We'll see how the Amazon ones compare right now, but I really, really like these. So we'll see, they got stiff competition. Okay, whoa, I'm actually really impressed. I will say I probably just right off the start, I should have sized down in these. I got these in a small and I probably could have done an extra small just based on the fit of them, but I'm just going to imagine they fit correctly and what I imagine they would fit like. These are built basically the exact same. Right down to the angle on the back, these are 
almost the exact same, honestly. The fit is very good. Again, I just need to size down in this because they feel a little bit loose right here and on the top, but I think that would be fixed just by a sizing difference. I really love the print. I think the major difference is the feeling, just like I was talking about before. These feel a little bit more soft and fleecy, a little less athletic, a little bit more would provide heat, if that makes sense. I'm actually really impressed because I was concerned that the like style would look completely different, but very, very similar to those, as you can see. Okay, so this shirt, I actually only have the Amazon one, which is weird because on the Lululemon receipt, it says that I bought one of these, and I know that I did, but it never showed up. So I will have to reach out to them and ask, where's the shirt? Where'd it go? Is it lost in the mail? Did you forget? I don't know, but I have Amazons here, and I do, own one of these as well so I can kind of judge it based on that and this is seriously so similar to the Lulu one it's actually <laughs> it's actually like almost criminal <laughs> it's so close looking at the details and everything and this is seriously what the Lulu lemon one looks like I think only difference is the Lulu one's a little thinner and maybe a little bit softer but super super close and for like way different price too. But let me throw this on and we will see how it looks. It seems like it might be a little bit big. I got it in a small, but we will see. Okay, so sadly I don't have the dupe for this one here. I just checked to see, but I can judge this because I literally wore the Lululemon one yesterday working out. So I can remember what it felt like and I can honestly say there wasn't an itchy tag in it. Oh, okay. <laughs> Well, that dealt with that. I think this is a really nice workout t-shirt. I think the difference between this one and the Lulu one is the Lululemon one is a little bit softer and hugs the curves a little better. Whereas this one is a little bit more boxy, which isn't a huge deal. It's still very breathable and soft. They're just slightly different, but honestly, again, for the price point, I think this one's pretty good. I don't think there's much to say about it. If you want to see a little 360 moment, here you go. Here's what it looks like. I love the color. It's nice enough. Do with that knowledge what you want. It's nice. Okay, now I got a sports bra. This is the all powered up bra. Now I got it in this like lavender color. This is really pretty. I love, I love the color and the feel just feels so luxurious and so thick. Like it would really hold you in. It's got again, padding that you can pull out of here or wait, can you pull it out? Oh my goodness. Okay. No, I think the padding is there to stay. It's almost like unlined, but lined at the same time, if that makes sense. Oh my goodness. It matches my shirt kind of. Nice. But this is the one where this one is the dupe. And these aren't very similar, to be honest. Like this one isn't really a sports bra. It's kind of like a tank top, or you could use it as both. But they don't look as similar. And I think this was the one that I was struggling to find a dupe for, but kind of the same, not really. We'll put them on and see how they compare. I clearly was struggling to find this one as a dupe. Okay, Lululemon sports bra is on. I really like it. It's very, very soft. It feels like it's holding me in. Ignore the like multiple rashes I have. This one's been very persistent. I've had this for like a month. I'm pretty sure that it is a reaction to something going on, which I am trying to figure out, but ignore them. But okay, the bra here is what it looks like in the back. It's very nice. I like the detail. It fits well. I like the color. The fabric again is very strong and like holding me in. So let us see the dupe that isn't really a dupe because it doesn't look that similar, but like whatever. Okay, this is probably the biggest miss of just comparison because they don't really look similar. So I feel like I should judge them separately. Like I liked that, but does it really compare? I don't think Think so like I feel like this compares better to the Align tank top rather than the sports bra so let's just push that out of the way and we will judge this on its own I'm sure there's a Lululemon comparison but I obviously couldn't find it okay but I really like the square neckline and I like the built-in bra I like the sizing I like the fit the only thing I really don't like is if you can see the details of the built-in bra you can kind of see it and I think it being white doesn't really help because it's a little see-through. So then you can really see the opaque padding in there. The back I really, really love. And honestly, I think I could get over the front being a little messed up because it is so comfortable and I think it is a nice workout top. So I'm gonna give it a thumbs up. You can be the judge. Just know that it's a little wrinkly and messed up in the front 
in the boob area. But other than that, it's good. Okay, here we have another pair of joggers. These are the Stretch High Rise Jogger. It doesn't say the price on here, but I'm sure that they were probably like $120 in there. Lululemon's leggings and joggers are pretty pricey usually. Oh my goodness, they've got like dust on them. I'm not judging Lulu for that because I did just have them on the floor, so it might be me. Okay, and then these I got in a navy. I don't know if it's looking kind of black, but they are a navy. And I was able to find almost like the exact same look. And now feeling them, they feel so different. Oh my goodness, like these almost feel Sort of like when my mom used to wear scrubs, it would be very that. Like she was a dental hygienist, if nobody knows. I don't know if I've ever said that or if that's important at all, but she used to wear scrubs. And this is kind of what it feels like, if you can hear that. That kind of sounds like a scrub to me. Whereas the Lulu ones are a little bit softer and more of an athletic print. This almost feels more like pant-like, but I feel like they're going to look very similar. The Lulu ones also have like a little bit of striping to them. Like it looks like a pinstripe, whereas the Lululemon ones don't. These ones definitely are a way different fabric, to be honest. Like look very similar, but fabric way different. So we'll put them on. Okay, so here are these Lululemon joggers on. First of all, wow, these are so comfortable. Like when I think about wearing sweatpants every day, I feel like the vibe might not look very professional, but I feel like these would give you the professional look, but also feel just as comfortable as sweatpants. It wouldn't make as much heat, if that makes sense. It's like a fabric that would keep you feeling dry and cool. <laughs> I feel like I'm in like some sort of commercial, but it's just my opinion. It just sounded like that. But yeah, I really, really like the fit of these. They go right to the floor, which is nice because sometimes some athletic clothes can be a little bit short on me. So I really like that. Love the pockets, the drawstring waist is very nice and convenient. I feel like these pants could be dressed up into like a business casual, but then also dressed down into like, I'm going for a jog. So I really, really like these. They are pretty pricey. So let's see how the Amazon dupe looks. Okay, Amazon pair is on. Surprisingly, actually these look very, very identical. I would say only difference on the fit is that these ones are a little bit shorter. Now, the difference lies in the feeling, which you guys aren't gonna be able to feel unless you buy both. So let me try to articulate this correctly so you understand. Basically, these pants feel like a windbreaker. Those ones feel like a legging. If you've ever felt a Lululemon legging, those feel very similar. These, on the other hand, feel like a soft, windbreaker. I almost can feel a little bit of the static sticking sections of these pants to my legs. When I think of the price difference, I'm like, yeah, it's gonna be a little bit different. And is this a big deal? And I would say it depends. Because for me personally, I really like the feeling of that fabric, whereas this one, I'm not as big of a fan of, but it's not too bad, honestly. I would say this isn't the best dupe that we found in this video, but it's definitely not the worst. It's decent, like they look the same, but the feeling is way off. Okay, this last comparison we have, I feel like is going to be very similar. This is the Define Jacket. And again, it doesn't say the price, but I think around $100 again. This fabric feels very similar to the first Align Tank. It's very thick if you've ever felt those before. Lots of like stitching and detail, especially on the back. It's like this nice, beautiful salmony peach color. I really love these, especially for working out outside in Canada. Randomly, we'll just get windy and cold. Old, so it's nice to have an athletic jacket too. I feel like this would be very like slim, slimming too, because it's got like these lines down the side. I don't know, I may be wrong. But here is Amazon's dupe, basically. I don't know if they purposely did this dupe, but it's so similar, I feel like it had to be. Look at that. Aside from the color, this is the same. Seriously, down to every detail. Even the sleeves are the same. Like, look at the sleeves. They look the exact same. And this one, actually, the fabric feels like the slightest bit different. It's basically the exact same. Like, every piece of this is the same. Now, this one was a little bit more pricey when it came to the Amazon pieces. This was $51, but in comparison, like, this one was 100 so already it's like half, and it looks pretty much the exact same. I really like this color, too. It's like a mauve. 
I didn't really think that I was so into mauve, but now that I'm looking, everything is like a shade of purple. Interesting. I mean, I do like purple, so. But okay, let's throw these on and see how they look. Okay, when I zipped this up, this reminded me so much of the figure skating jacket I used to wear every single day. It was like just like this, except black. Felt the exact same. It actually took me back to when I was 10, which was kind of strange. It's weird that a jacket can do that, but I love this. The fit is super, super flattering. Like I said, these seams right here do a lot. I don't know why. They just make like an imitation hourglass figure. Not that that's super important, but it's a perk of this jacket. The fabric is very soft and nice and thick. There's an opening piece back here. I think if you're like sweating, it's supposed to let air up there. So the design is clearly made very smart. I'm thinking too, is this for mittens? Can you unfold that and that's supposed to be mittens or did I just figure that out? Cause what else would be the purpose of this? I'm not sure, but if that's supposed to be mittens, I kind of love that. And then there's also the thumb holes here. This is beautiful. I love the color. I love the the design it fits amazing i don't know if the amazon one is going to compare but let us look okay wow it looks like amazon did not come to play with this jacket this is really really nice the fabric is so nice and soft it fits really good i would say this one is just a little bit bigger than the lulu one as you can see it's not as like skin tight but it could be if i size down it would fit just like that one again ignore the color difference there wasn't exact matches unless i was just going to do black but i wanted to do some colorful stuff too to change it up a little bit for the video but then in doing that i just got a bunch of different shades of mauve but still i was trying the back is a little bit different on this one it's not as attached this flappy piece but it's pretty similar to the lulu jacket it's actually ridiculous and again i think this one was like 50 percent off if you consider it in pricing this was like half the price of that one and i don't think it's half the jacket i think it's pretty close it even has this feature so Clearly this is for covering your hands because it's in both jackets. It's not a mistake, which I actually really like that because there's a lot of times where I'll go like this when I'm cold, but it looks so much better to just go well thought out piece on both jackets. It's got the same seams down the side. I would definitely say that this would be inspired by that jacket. I'm pretty sure Lulu's jacket came first, so yeah. But this one feels really nice as well. I like this a lot. These pieces were pretty impressive, not gonna lie. Let's go to the final thoughts. Okay, you guys, so that has been comparing Lululemon with the Amazon dupes, or maybe they weren't the dupes. I'm not sure. I feel like they were, but what did you guys think? Because, like, I'm kind of, like, I'm, like, those are pretty similar. Like, some of them, less, but a lot of them, I was, like, whoa. If I was to, like, mix this up and ask someone which is the Lulu, which isn't, I don't think they'd be able to tell. I'm just saying. I definitely don't have a favorite, honestly, especially when you start bringing in the price difference. So if you guys were interested in some athletic wear, but Lulu's always been a little bit too expensive, some of the Amazon pieces might be better for you, or maybe you would prefer the Lulu pieces. I don't know. I just hope that this was informative for anybody who is curious about it, because I know my mom and I were definitely very curious when we saw the TikTok, so I wanted to try it. As always, I hope you guys enjoyed watching this video. If you did, make sure to give it a like, and also click the subscribe button because I post on Fridays and Sundays. And yeah, I will see you guys in the next one. Bye!